to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel and welcome to monday morning makeup number 44 also happy new year happy 2024 um today's video is going to be probably a lot of me reflecting on 2023 and what is going to be happening going forward in 2024 but I also finally got my Mothman palette. So I am dying to use this today. And this is all thanks to Dion from Dion Loves Makeup. And this is what the palette looks like. And what I didn't remember her saying, and I'm sure she did, is that it's magnetic. So it's not like your regular palette where you can just flip it open. But I like this because then my palette is flat and I can easily access everything. So I am excited to use this palette today. I am starting off at zero as I normally do. And also drink of the day is actually not tea like I normally have. It is actually some apple juice and some water in like a 40 ounce container because I have not been drinking enough water. Goal for 2024, I need to get into drinking enough water. Um, and also the cup, just in case you were interested, is from Swig. I think this cup is currently out of stock because they recently had a sale where these were like 40% off. So there is that. This is the, I forgot the name of it, but you would definitely see it on their website. So we will take a squeak of apple juice and we will get started. I will not be using any primer on my face today because I use this product by um, Boom by Cindy Joseph and it's called the Boom Nectar. It is a rich moisturizing face and eye serum. So it looks like this. It looks like that. And yeah, so my eyes are good. My face is good. My face is already looking nice and shiny. So we will not be doing any primer today. Um, what I am going to do is go ahead and get my eyelids primed though. And then we will get started. And let's see, where's my favorite brush for this? We'll use this one. This is a dense primer brush from BH Cosmetics. Alright, so we will prime our eyes. And I was watching Lock Maiden's video yesterday where she did her um, beauty capsule edit. And she does that every month. I love watching those videos. Because um, she really gets into talking about what she um, used up and if she will repurchase it. She, of course, shows her purchases. But she got into talking about actually how much money she spent last year. And we spend this money and we don't really think about it. But then I thought that it was amazing for her to actually um, get in and calculate all the money that she spent. It really makes you sit back and think about it. But let me zoom in um, so you all can see what I'm doing. All right, so we are zoomed in. Me and headbands are not friends, but I feel like my hair is too slick down to my head today. So I put a headband on. Um, but yeah, she totaled up what she spent. And I am going to link that video in my description so you all can go back and watch it. It was really a good video and really informative. It really made me sit back and think. I was already going to be sort of telling you all what my goals were as far as makeup and as far as my channel for 2024 anyway. But then when she did that, I thought about the fact that I actually need to 
um make let's use this one make 2024 pretty much a low buy for makeup um, i am using the it cosmetics micro power micro power brow power but the micro one for my brows today but yeah i just i sat here and thought about how like i really have everything that i need it kind of started when we did that um no buy in the summer that three month no buy in the summer i think it was july august and september and after i went through that no buy and realizing i could actually not buy anything and not be suffering even though there were a lot of brands because you know that's the time that they start to ramp up my window is open that's the time they start to ramp up for the holiday season so there were a lot of brands that were putting their sales out so we just kept going back and forth with each other and just kind of talking each other off the ledge throughout those three months um but after we finished with that um i don't think i really got back into like buying a whole bunch of makeup of course i did buy a few things like when pat mcgrath had her sale of course um i think cindy grace had a sale was that after that or was that before it could have been no that was before because that was christmas in july but i don't think that i bought a whole lot after we um finished that no buy so that just got me to thinking that i could successfully do a whole um, a low buy for the entirety of 2024. There is absolutely nothing that I need and I can be very selective in the things that I actually want. So yeah, we are going to be low buying for 2024. And what that means for my channel is you all are probably going to be seeing a lot of, um, my eyebrows, this one looks very alert. And this one looks, let's just go with the fact that your brows are sisters and not twins. Um, let's see. And you always got to go back and play with the thing. But yeah, you all are probably going to be seeing a lot of older eyeshadow palettes and things that are not like the hottest thing on the market on my channel which I don't think I've done that in years anyway um because I pretty much just bought what I wanted and didn't really always buy what was the hottest thing um let me use this and kind of brush these brows out I just feel like this brow is like like this is the eye I can raise up but now this eye looks like the eye that's raised up um my channel is also um because it's going to be a lot of health and beauty like mental health wellness all that stuff like that um i don't feel like i need to be trying to keep up with the joneses because i'm trying to actually do a little bit more of the <clears throat> health and wellness on my channel So that is going to be sort of interspersed into my content. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. But my voice is sounding very raspy. Um, I think at some point the health and wellness may sort of overtake the beauty. But there is always going to be beauty on my channel. It may be in a different form it may not always be i think i'm always going to have monday morning makeup so we are always going to have this time together to put makeup on but on other days um 
especially on the Thursdays, because the Thursdays was the day that I didn't really have anything dedicated to. So it is going to be health and wellness. I am going to go ahead and finish that Beauty Through the Ages series that I started. So for the rest of January, we will be doing that type of content on Thursdays. Um, where we do, no, that might be my Monday morning makeups for um, the entirety of January. But this is Mason Monster. And I am going to put this in my crease. I have not swatched anything. I am just digging right in and hoping for the best. I know Dion loves this palette. So we're going to use this mirror here. She loves this palette, so I don't feel like I have to be doing swatches. If you follow her, and I'll put her channel information in the description also, um, then you have seen face swatches of this palette. But I do like that color. It is sort of close to my skin tone, so it's good for a transition. And this goes on very well. The only thing I was not happy about with this um, Mothman palette is that it took, I think I ordered it on November the 9th. I just got it this past weekend, which is the, well, no, actually I got it on Friday, which was the 29th of December. Yeah. The 29th of December is when I finally got this palette. So it takes too long to me to get anything from Notoriously Morbid. So I don't know what the future is for me and them as far as ordering anything. <sighs> um, a lot of kick up in the pan. I am going to, there is no deep shade in here. No deep matte shade in here, but we shall pull from my Janessa Marix light work palette, groundwork palette, sorry. So I need something on like this outer third. So we are gonna grab just another blending brush and I am going to go into the shade Harvest and that is this shade right here and that's the only thing I'm going to use another palette for is just that outside shade because Mothman does not have a deepening shade because I don't really like shimmers like all the way out here Oh, I think that was the, that was the cream that I dug my brush into. I mean, it still worked, but let's go into, actually, let me do that on this eye too, as a base, since I started on that other eye, and this doesn't blend out too bad. All right, and now we'll go into the powder. Yep, there's most of your pigmentation though right there. And we are gonna keep this right on this outside because I wanna use my other shades in the Mothman palette and see what we can come up with. I have no idea what I am doing, what kind of look I am doing with this palette today. So we just winging it like we normally do. Yeah, but like I was saying, I have things planned as far as health and wellness for this channel for 2024. And one of the things I did mention in um, another video a while back, not sure if you remember, but I am going to be doing a series on um, self 
love for mature women um and that is going to actually start on let's grab this brush and i'm going to go hold on we all over the place right now i am going to go into the shade i think pleasant legend which is here which it looks like it's a multi-chrome and that's going to go like in the inner part of the eye but yeah it is going to be an eight week course this looks like it's going to look completely different than what it looks like in this pan um so that is what is going to be happening on thursdays at least through february and march on my channel yeah that looks completely different can you even see it it's pretty though i can see it um that is what is going to be happening on Thursdays. I feel like I'm all over the place today for at least February and March since it's going to be like eight weeks. And every week is going to be sort of a different topic for self-love. And I want you all to join me during this eight weeks. I am going to go into the shade i should have used okay i got that i know what i'm using that one for give me them beans which is this shade right here um but yeah it is called the empower muse path to self-love and it is a radiant journey to unconditional self-love for mature women And it is actually going to start, and those look like the same color. So let me just put a little bit of this right here, and we're going to go into another shade. And they kind of shift a little different. This is looking very neutral on the camera to me, so let's pop it with something else. Um, I think I'm going in since I have a green shirt on with phenomenon, phenomenon, however you say that, but it's the shade right here. We'll use the same brush. I'll just flip it over. This one looks like it is very sparkly. Goes on very well though. But it is sparkly. It is looking very subtle on the camera to me. And I know this um, palette can do more than this. So you may see this palette again. Just pat it on that. That makes it a little bit more pigmented. And I'm going into the part of my shadow that I did not want to go into. All right. I am going to grab my groundwork palette again and go back into the shade Harvest. And a little bit more of that on the outer because I don't want this green to be taking over all right and I am going to step away from the shadows for a second where's my little cloth here I need to kind of we do have a little far out from that um shade phenomenon however many noms is on here so i have glitter all over my face once again i feel like i had glitter all over my face in the last video but I haven't put my foundation on yet so all right um 
So, so while I'm letting this dry for a second, there is also going to be sort of a bonus workbook for you all and it won't like necessarily follow the series but what it is is like it's is sort of a planner but it helps you plan like self-care actually about your personal goals your self-love things and stuff like that but this is the book and it is a huge one and this is called empower me use the path to self-love and it is done by me see me on the back it is done by me and i cannot quite flip through but there's some information in here for you to read a little bit there's also a lot of um a lot of places for you to write down your thoughts and your plans and things like that I will put actually a little thumbnail here where I kind of um, flip through it and you can see it a little bit better because I feel like my ring light is washing it out but it is available on Amazon I had my sister put it up on her site so her site is Divine Ink Boutique on Amazon and she has um, quite a few other like journals and books and things on her site also but she did that for me so that I could have this book available to you all for the series. So that will be that. That is the one thing that I'm really looking forward to. And of course, I am going to have quite a few other things planned for my channel. I am going to put my foundation on and... It is going to be the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. And mine is in the shade uh, Medium Deep Neutral Warm 340. And let me spray my brush. I always want to grab the bronzer brush and um, use it for foundation. But let's see, let's grab this brush here, Sonia, Sonia G. This is the jumbo base brush. I am going to spray that. And we will do as normal, put our dots on. But yes, I hope that you all will join me for those for those um, videos that series because I am really excited about it. Um, it is it is really time, especially when you get a little bit older. The kids are out. It is time for you to, even if your kids are not out, um, take care of you. You know, put yourself first because you put a lot of other people first for so many years that it is your time. So we are just going to be doing some learning, some techniques to do that pretty much. So that's another one of my um, goals for 2024. I did not get a setting pal. Oh, I'll, I'll keep my Laura Mercier. Um, so yeah, I want, um, it's almost like I want my channel to change somewhat because I am getting older and it's not for me all about the makeup anymore. I feel like I just have more to share, but I mean, I still wanted to be about the makeup, but I wanted to be about a little bit more because I feel like I'm going through changes and I feel like if I'm going through changes, other people are going through them as well. So we might as well try to figure this thing out together. 
All right, so foundation is on. I am gonna put on my concealer, which is also the Kosas Concealer. And this one is in, I think, yeah, 08W. Another thing, and this just popped into my head as I'm using this concealer, that I thought about, where's my, oh, oh yes, this is the one I wanted. Is this a, yeah, this is a concealer brush. I still feel like I need to spray that one a little bit too. Is that um, even going through, like, um, I think the last time I did a makeup basket, I pulled out my Juvia's Place concealer. And it just had me thinking that a lot of the things that I think are good are not necessarily expensive. So um, I might be on that journey too to like get back to the things that I know I love and not spending so much money on things just because it's like the hottest thing. Like I really love the um, Juvia's Place concealer. This I Am Magic it is actually still in my um, makeup basket because I will probably use that this week in addition to this Kosas. But I need to get down to things that I know I really like and that work for me and stop hopping around. Like I am one who will keep trying out a foundation and knowing that I have foundations that already work for me. So I need to do a lot of that, like getting back down to the things that I know that I like and sticking with those. It's not to say that I won't at any time. I'm gonna be using this powder brush to put this Laura Mercier concealer on, I mean powder on. Um. I know I'm gonna still see things that I like and I may still wanna try them, but I feel like I need me some holy grails. I really do. And just stop hopping around. If it works for you, use it and stop trying to buy new stuff. I'm not at that stage in the makeup game anymore where I'm trying to discover things that work for me. I know what things work for me, like this Laura Mercier powder, which I've been using for years. So I don't know if I'm going to be like in the powder game anymore. Um, I have, what do you call them? Bronzers that I know I like, like that minted bronzer. It is not necessarily on the expensive side either. So that can be like my bronzer of choice. Of course though, as I'm about to use this Kosas, this is another favorite. So yeah, it's just gonna be sort of paring down the things that I am using and not just trying to buy things because they are the latest and greatest. I am past that in this stage of the makeup game. I am gonna put this bronzer on though. And I am going to use, this is a blush brush. See what they say is a bronzer brush. I don't want to use for a bronzer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if it works. This is the <laughs> Sephora Pro Bronzer. I don't ever. I use this for foundation most of the time. But let's see how it works for bronzer. We may actually use a brush for what it's meant for. It does pick up quite a bit. Okay, it's not bad. I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it for sure. Um, but it's okay. Okay, we're bronzed. It worked. It is probably going to be a foundation brush. 
So I have that on. I am going to grab my blush and I'm going to use one of the blushes that I got for Christmas. I just had the blush brush right in my hand. Um, yeah. So it is going to be one of these phytosurgeons blushes and I think let's go with the shade ignite and that looks like that and it is the shade this is one of phytosurgeons pull back um limited edition blush spark is that what they call it skin sparks but yeah that's ooh. i think i put too much let's just tap a little bit and then let's just tap a little bit on this side. It is pretty though. I think I need a different type of um, brush for these particular blushes, but yeah, it is pretty very natural looking all right so that is that i am going to grab a highlighter and i grabbed my tiger palette from Hourglass from 2022. And I am gonna go in with this shade right here for a highlighter. And I'm gonna use the Sephora highlighter brush, which is this fan brush, pro highlight brush. this because it looks lit from within it doesn't look like I um it doesn't look like a disco ball let's just say it like that I like the finish of the hourglass powders all right so we are going to go back into the palette and I am going to actually do my inner corner color because Actually, let me, before I do that, I want to put a um, eyeliner on. So, where's my favorite? Yeah, the Cacao from Melt. And I don't want to mess my makeup up, so let's do it like this. I don't know why, but my, my camera stopped. I'm glad I was looking at it at the time. Me and headbands are not friends. Um, I'm going to go back into this groundwork palette. And I'm going to use that shade Harvest one more time. And I'm just going to use that under my lower lash line. Why is this brush in here? Lord knows, I washed my brushes the other day and I normally have certain brushes in certain um, containers and I have all my, BH, my BK Beauty brushes mixed in with these um, other brushes. So I have to put these back where they go, but this is the BK Beauty 204. It's like a smudge brush. So I am just going to smudge up under here. All 
All right. And then I'm going to take the shade 57 Chevy from the Mothman palette, which is this shade here. And that's going to be my inner corner highlight. I hope, let me see what it looks like on my hand. Yeah, that'll work. So we will put that here and kind of drag it this way. All right, and then I am gonna do my mascara and I think I put that brush back in here. I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll be right back. Mascara is done and now I am gonna do my lips. I'm gonna use the Mali Lip Pencil. Which I need to go ahead and finish off. Actually, let me sharpen her cause that just scraped my lip. All right, that is better. I need to get that piece off the floor um and I'm going to use the MAC lipstick in the shade hug me and I think this is one of their luster gloss lipsticks I think but anyway this is the shade of it so I am going to put that on I picked this up from one of the um, Sephora and Targets. I really like this color. Ulta, not Sephora, Ulta and Target. Sephora does not sell MAC, do they? I don't think so. All right, a little bit more liner here for some definition. All right, and we are done. I'm just gonna spray my face with my Fix Plus. And we are all set. I'm gonna zoom out. And be right back. All right, so I am back and this is my look for today. It is looking very subtle to me on camera <laughs> um little glittery but i actually do really like this palette i really like this shade 57 chevy that might need to be one that i use all over the eye um this phenomenon phenomenon <laughs> is a little bit glittery i think that it would be better used as a topper um, this shade, Premonitions, looks like it's the same formula as 57 Chevy. So that might be a nice one as well. But I enjoy using this palette today to do my eyeshadow. I enjoyed sharing time with you all. I, of course, did not finish um, Vlogmas. I did about 19 days. And then I sort of got burned out. But I think that's pretty good for my first time trying to do Vlogmas. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.